you make a picture then we're gonna judge it but you're no good drawing is hard Welcome, Welcome to, to Drawing, Drawing is hard. hard. God damn it right. That's how you do it. Okay, so we've got five things for Michael to draw in the other room. We've got Irish, Aquarium, Shovel, Persistence, and El Paso. Jess, if you'd take this to Mike. All right. Persistence. That's the kid. That's the... That's the crippler. Let's start talking about... The things you want to draw. Irish is, let's be honest, it's obvious bait to try and get him to do something insulting because I think already drawing today, the two of us have done insulting things yes. and we just want the score to be even. And, and honestly, it's it's hard to, to not do insulting things because when you're bad at stuff, you, you do stuff bad and, and then it's insulting. Mm -hmm. So I call this man staring into your soul guy. Because he don't give a fuck. Yeah. Yeah, again, Irish is just bait for him to do something bad. Also, I kind of, Mike, like, holds on to being Irish a bit. I, I don't know how he's Irish other than, like, one day when he had hair, maybe it was red. And he's really pale. But other than that, he's pretty Jewish. <laughs> so this cactus looks like it has a dick. Because <laughs> it's got four leaves. <laughs> Duly noted. Uh, you put aquarium, aquarium was another one we chose. So. Yeah, I just thought it'd be fun to see a lot of fish. Do you think we'll see a lot of fish? Uh, okay, so do we think this is going to take place in a large uh, aquarium type complex, oh, yeah, or do you, you think we're going to see like a fish tank? You could use it as the location, or yeah, it could just be a well, home. Yeah, he could just draw one goldfish in like a bowl and be done. Aquarium. Uh, hmm. Okay, didn't see that coming. What was the very last thing we put? Oh, we put the city on there last. El Paso. So was he'll the have city to tack on the city at, at the last part, El Paso. Which, unlike his normal blocky efforts at cities, that's not going to fly for El Paso. That uh, uh, that city doesn't have the same kind of um, cityscape as. It's not a big skyline. No, it's not at all. It's a, so. it's a border town. It's got I 10 going through it. Um, viewing from I 10, you'd believe it's made entirely of pawn shops and a big fence. Um, and then there's like a big black building downtown. El Paso. It's in Texas, correct? Yes. What else is in Texas? Things I hate. The Dallas Cowboys. The Dallas Cowboys. And finally, the third thing I hate. The Dallas Cowboys. Persistent. Persistence. That's a little bit of a weird abstract one. Um, I wonder if we'll see like one of those persistence um, posters in a background, like maybe like he'll inspirational. Maybe he'll do an office with uh, the fish tank and then an, an, a persistence poster. I think it's actually kind of hard to predict that one. The way it'll hit Mike's brain, I mean, that's one of the reasons we have him on the show. Is just I don't know if there's really a way to tell what that's going to marinate and become. Right. It could be a duck that really wants to get out of a pond. It could be a guy who's a quarterback whose name is James Persistence. Hold on. Yeah, 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 okay. Persistence would be good if it was people who were being persistent, right? That, that would work. Okay, so what about, you know those people who try to sell you timeshares and they're always trying to sell you them? What if I just made a timeshare company? <laughs> and I can just see it oh, now. Wow. Number one overall draft pick is James Persistence. Camera pants to James Persistence. <sighs> All right. Yeah. Yeah, I nailed it. I nailed it. And how <laughs> saved by the art. My God, that took forever. These guys are just sad. And here comes the reveal. What do we got? Okay, uh, it's... If there is one thing, before we even get into criticism, if there is one thing I do love about Mike Cross, it's that he knows how to fill the page. There is not a blank spot there. He knows how to do everything here. They do kind of like it already. Okay, the first thing that jumps out at me is he actually has gotten slightly better because this is still a blocky city. But we're in 3D. We we're are in, in 3D. We're no longer in block world. We're in cube world, baby. <laughs> we're in 3D now. Watch out. I'm feeling really ambitious here. I'm going to jump right at persistence because I think I see it already. Do you? Um, I don't. I do. 
There is a plane ah, I flying see a sign that says, no birds. You can't have a bird in El Paso. But you see that fucker up there? I do. He is flying in the face of adversity. And if that's not persistence, I don't know what is. And it, oh, that's not persistent. Like his birds and planes are both a little alike, a little awkward. Like in birds, like 80% of that bird is leg. <laughs> if there's any part of a bird that's probably the smallest part of a flying bird, it's its leg. Well, and it's, I mean, I'm not sure that that's wings or if it's a coffee table. <laughs> it really does. <laughs> or a surfboard or a hoverboard. Or a skateboard. It, or it, it's board like. a Milano cookie. It's... The bird is murdered. There's blood squirting everywhere. He may have been embracing our, our sort of production motto for drawing is hard, which is... It's bigger, faster, worse. Bigger, faster, worse. Yeah, because we try to do these pretty quick. So you want to draw bigger, you want to draw faster, you want to draw worse. Well, that's the worst goddamn bird I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> I didn't mean to make it the worst bird ever. I, well, the thing that strikes out me first, just looking at writing, we see that's the El Paso timeshare. The El Paso timeshare? I'm sure they have a timeshare in El Paso. Timeshares make up this weird world of, like, pawn shops and pyramid schemes that are, like, in Mike Cross world, that's just like the normal every day I'm going to the grocery store, so I better go to a pawn <laughs> shop first. Like, timeshares are just like, that would be the second biggest building downtown, would be the El Paso timeshare. Of course. But that's just like, that's just a look into his head. Well, the timeshares are hot right now in El Paso. What do you want me to tell you? I don't know. Speaking of the Midwestern field, just below that, I see what is obviously a pubic hair cactus because... I was going to bring it up. There's the trademark drawing is hard. <laughs> I don't know how to do this texture, so I'm just going to do pubic stubble. That, that is pubic <laughs> stubble. It's not quite as hairy as some of the other uh, pubic renditions that we've, <laughs> we've put forth, but definitely the trademark pubes are, are on the page. Okay. <sighs> pubic hair. I do not draw pubic hair. Stop it, guys. The only thing I'd think with Irish... Is just like we predicted. It is just Mike in the foreground going, eh. Yeah, which is as exactly what you said. Like, not but even completely framed. Like, whoever took the photo that we based this off of could not frame their original photo. But I'm noticing something else, though. If you look in the aquarium, uh -huh. not only do you see the little treasure chest and some Kelpie substance, <laughs> but is that a three leaf clover that's or in Or a in club, in yeah. Like that. So that could be his attempt at Irish. Wait a minute, didn't we ask for a shovel? We did. Is that what that is at the bottom? Is is the giant Mike Cross staring us down holding a shovel? Are we just missing the entire bottom of the drawing? Did he did he flip it over on the back, perhaps? <laughs> did he run out of room? It's a shovel. Do you like shovels? Then dig that. Um, so anything else you see? Uh, no, I think we covered it all. I just really, that thing in the bottom left, I have no idea. I'd be, leave a comment if you have any idea what that is. So, bad birds, cube city, no shovel, no talent. Thanks a lot. Thanks for taking it seriously. We're trying to do something here, and you can't even help us out. So, we're done. You done? Well, yeah. I'm done. There's a shovel. It's got blood all over it. And if you guys were any sort of inept fucking cops who could actually solve a goddamn crime in El Paso, you guys would realize there's a no bird law going on right now. And he just swacked a bird in the throat and cut its jugular with the fucking snow shovel, okay? I don't know why there's a snow shovel. It's the only one that had Ace Hardware. You figured the fuck out. I didn't. It's hard.